How's it going guys? Bring your platoon here and welcome to another great game in World of Tanks Xbox One Edition. Today I'm going to be playing in the Tier 8 American TD, or Tank Destroyer, the T-28. It is basically a baby T-95, except there are some key differences between this and its Tier 9 counterpart. One, the Tier 9 is infinitely better. Two, <laughs> um, instead of getting a 155 millimeter that the Tier 9 does, this thing is limited to a 120 millimeter gun. Standard AP rounds can pen at 248 millimeters, and the premium pen only goes up to 297 for the APCR rounds. Kind of shitty, but oh well. This thing's got 200, and you know, I'm not even going to compare the two because this video is about this tank, and I have other videos comparing the T95 with why it's better than every other tank in the game. But moving on, uh, it's, it's not the better tank in the entire game, but it is a fan favorite of mine. Well, fan favorite of mine. I, I'm a, f it is a favorite of mine. There, I said it. Moving on to this tank statistics. Its aim time is, I believe, 2.1. Not bad at all. Um, its view range is 370, which is why I have, this is my equipment loadout. Uh, optics, gun rammer, and vents, just to up that DPM as much as possible. I think I shoot every 7 seconds on the dot, or like 7.2 seconds, which is great. And I also have uh, cola on this tank because, you guessed it, I'm going to try and 3 mark it. I 3 marked the tier 7 on the line, the tier 9, the T95 as I mentioned before, and I want to 3 mark the E3, but that probably won't happen for a very long time. So, I'm just visiting older tanks that I previously played that I thought they were shit, and uh, realizing how, what gems they are presently. But yeah, I maxed out my view range. I've got uh, uh, recon and situational awareness on this tank, as well as track repair, regular repair, uh, preventative maintenance, smooth ride, clutch braking, off-road driving, six sense, and brothers in arms. Yeah, it, there's a fuck ton of perks on this thing. And that's probably not even all of them. But, moving on, it's got like a 230 millimeter plate in the upper hull of this tank. Which means that you can bounce your own tier 50-50% of the time. Or, well, 50% of the time if they're using standard rounds. And, uh, yeah, little weird graphical glitch here. The building collision is still showing that the building is up even though I'm aiming at the tank that is clearly 200 and something meters away, but the shell pre-detonates because it's a bug, and I'm going to send a little clip of that to Wargaming so they can fix that. But, or assuming if they even address it. But, that's up to them. Moving on. Um, but yes, your own tier, you'll bounce 50% of the time if they're using standard rounds. As soon as they switch to heat or APCR premium rounds, they're going to go through your upper plate, no problem. Not because it's not well armored, but because it's flat, and they don't need a lot. Even tier 7s will go through it if they load premium. So that's pretty, although not nearly as reliably, as far as tier 7s using premium. But uh, yes, look out for premium usage as your tank becomes a giant pile of shit. If that happens, and if they can, you know, see the entirety of your exposed tank. This tank has nothing on the sides as far as armor goes. It's like 50 millimeters, I believe, for the armor thickness. And the accuracy is 0.38. That's kind of depressing as well, which means you also have that same accuracy as a tier 8 premium heavy tank, the T26E5, the Patriot, something else I also 3 marked, although that one was a little bit more difficult because of matchmaking tier 10s and yeah but we won't go into that i try to finish out the indian panzer there because i know i need him to die otherwise he'll try and flank me pretty soon here so i had to start making my aggressive way towards this is because he's been bouncing off me non-stop and i honestly don't get care don't care if i get penned here although i think he bounces off me again i could be wrong oh yep there it is okay he did pen one of my hatches and your hatches probably have like 150 millimeters of protection on it, so they're ass as far as protection goes. But my uh, 
friendly tank to my left there, the Super Pershing just got destroyed, and I know I need to destroy this Indian Panzer, otherwise they're going to absolutely fuck my world up right in the side. And lo and behold, there's a Vorsig in front of me, so I back behind this rock and load premiums because I thought that ISM was going to be smarter than that instead of bum-rushing towards the tank that is clearly running away from him. And I also need my own tank to die. This is a perfect example of going through your own tank. If you load premiums and hit the flat part underneath the gun of this thing, it becomes very easy to pen. It's just no problems at all facing your own tank, shooting premiums at it. Uh, what else about this tank? La 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 la. Oh, I guess the reason I use coded optics is because you're constantly on the move and you can out detect tier tens with this setup, so there's really no need for uh, binoculars. I tried tracking the Trinity in place so I could finish him off. Unfortunately, I equalized the lower plate of my armor and the Pershing somehow, you know, pens through it because of his amazing accuracy that I don't have. Um, but yeah, he does, he does it again, so it's very easy to do, and I keep, like, I don't want to give him the entirety of my tank, because I'm not even sure if he's shooting regular rounds at me. Like, I'm one more pen, and then I'll die, but I turn around, this Vorsig is going to aim at me with his derp cannon, and not finish me off, instead I'm going to get one more pen in, but I'm going to try and max roll him with a... Oh, well, well done, Artie. You try to get the kill. What do I roll here? 496 or something like that? A good roll, but the game is lost. However, before it was, I put up a hell of a fight. And probably did five times the amount of any other player on my team, which is really depressing. You're not going to make a lot of money in this tank if you're on the cola. It is not a cheap tank to repair. Especially if you're forced to... Like, <sighs> the teams. I It never s surprises me how amazingly bad people are in this game. But that's the game. It's a loss, but a game, good game nonetheless. So hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time.